Yo, what's good? Today we're looking at um, GIFs on I Fucking Love Science. Um, that shows how some of the joints in the body works, and this will confirm some stuff I'm thinking and give you guys an idea of how, how we use our body. So, to start off, this is the shoulder joint. You can see it's something like a ball in a socket. A lot of people describe it as a golf ball on a tee. But, point is, it's meant for a lot of, a lot of different range of motions. You can see that this is just what adducting and abducting, but it can move this way, it can move that way. Um, now if we compare this with the elbow and the knee, we see the elbow is just a straight hinge joint. It's not a ball and socket. Similarly with the knee, skipping the wrist and the hand. This thing doesn't have the, the hip in it, which is unfortunate. Here's the ankle, and here's the knee. Knee is the thing that's most interesting to me because I've had a lot of discussion recently on valgus knee, obviously, and is basically the question is, is the knee supposed to have any internal or external bend to it? I'm not talking about rotation that you create from body positioning, but the knee, as we can see here, is just it's just a hinge, really. It's meant to go up and down. At least that's my understanding of it. I mean... That's most people's understanding of it. So, the big confliction here is in NBA basketball. We see a lot of guys in valgus knee position, knock knee position at times. And the question is, why are the pros doing that? Um, and, I mean, from what everyone says, and from what I've seen, and from what I think, what the research outside of basketball says, those are faults. Those guys shouldn't be in that position. It's not something to copy. The reason they're in it is because they're falling into um, an unstable position. And these guys aren't infallible. They can get better. And part of this channel is not just for the newbies, but helping the pros or aspiring pros to get better through greater understanding. So this is kind of what the knee looks like. It's supplemented by these major ligaments running through it. But as we can see, the knee and the cap, the, the kneecap tracks straight up and down. It's not meant to be over here or over there. And alternatively, looking back at the elbow, which is similar. It's the elbow, similar to the knee. Up and down, up and down. And then most similar, or dissimilar, shoulder similar to the hip. So hip's a little more controlled, and I, it's too bad they don't have the hip in here. But the hip's just kind of a different different type of animal. So hope this helps you guys. Don't have to take my word for anything. You can get on Google and check stuff out. But main purpose of this is trying to understand how to use our knees, how to use our hips and ankles, and understanding that we want to track the knee up and down if we can. We don't want a flexible knee. We want a stable knee. And we want flexible, mobile hips and ankles. So peace. Hope that helps.